But the C++ is such a tight-knit community, and it's awesome to have events like this where everybody can kind of immerse themselves in, mingle, and then get to know each other on a social basis and on a professional basis, while having some really good content that you can learn from as well. Hello, um, I'm Matt, I work for KDAB, and I do uh, cross-platform GUI and C++ all day long. So where are we even using uh, cross-platform uh, GUI and C++? Um, most of the time, it's things that require the performance, multimedia, embedded devices, anything involving 3D graphics, and desktop environments like KDE and Alex Qt. Um, and pretty much all of these things, uh, Qt is the, the sort of queen of the landscape. Um, these are, this is a non-exhaustive list of uh, applications you probably know that use Qt today. Um, but a lot of people are using uh, desktop applications, or sorry, uh, a lot of people are writing desktop applications with uh, web technologies now. So like Discord, Skype, Spotify, Steam, et cetera, are being written first as web apps and then being sort of scaffolded to work as desktop applications. Um, why is this? Um, well, People want a, a consistency between uh, web clients and desktop clients, but um, it's sort of um, awful because the performance is terrible. Um, there's a tremendous memory overhead. The binaries are enormous. And you're actually, in the case of Electron, you're bundling an entire distribution of Chromium, an entire distribution of Node.js uh, in with every binary. So. There is another approach, which is um, to write everything as a C++ desktop application and then cross-compile to WebAssembly for a web application. Um, this eliminates a lot of the problems with the web-first approach, but uh, it will break half of your application because things like threading won't work, things like file systems won't work. Um, and so you have to do a lot of rewriting in order to port to the web. So both, both of these approaches kind of fundamentally suck. Um, so what if we could sort of target a, a shared uh, environment um, so that we could just really write once and run everywhere? Um, well, there is WASM outside of the browser, um, and it can even ahead of time and just in time compile to the uh, underlying instruction set, so um, it can be really close to native performance. Um, but the problem is that it's sandboxed from the underlying system, so things like file system, on the local machine doesn't make any sense. Um, so what did the WASM community do for this? Um, well, we have the WebAssembly system interface now, WASI. Um, and this is gonna allow us to do things like use native threads, access the file system, uh, do input output, and so on and so forth. And then with, um, with modern technologies like uh, the WASMer JS SDK, we can use these APIs in the browser. So we can sort of get like a universal binary uh, where we can run the same WASM module inside and outside of a browser environment. Um, and no, it's not the same thing as JVM. It's not the same thing as .NET. It's more language environment, uh, more language agnostic. Uh, there's no enforced garbage collection. It's way more secure than the JVM and so on and so forth. I could go on for a long time. Um, so where are we at? Nothing is standardized yet, but in the implement, uh, implementation phase, we have things like file systems, sockets, what have you. Um, in proposals, we have things like native threads and web GPU, which is gonna be important for uh, writing GUI applications because you can get things like canvases um, and um, you can uh, leverage the GPU to draw more efficiently. Um, but what we are missing are proposals for things like mouse events, um, any kind of audio API, uh, and that's gonna be important to add in the near future. Um, what about in terms of C++? Um, Unfortunately, all of the cutting edge stuff seems to be do done in Rust right now. Um, it seems kind of like the C++ community is sort of ignoring uh, WASI a, a little bit, at, at least compared to the Rust community. And I'd like to see that change. Um, I'd like to hope that this presentation sort of gets people sort of more interested in WASI uh, so that we can sort of advance the, uh, the ecosystem for writing WASI applications in C++. Um, and that's, that's really it. Uh, if you have um, some interest in this, I urge you to look up the new uh, WASM component model. Um, it's really cool. That's, that's it. <laughs>